We begin tonight with an update out of Lancaster County after two swastikas were discovered at a Millersville University dorm. Charges have been filed against a suspect. Fox 43's Logan Perone shares the reaction from Jewish students after the symbols were drawn on their campus. Disturbing images disrupting the sense of community on a Lancaster County College campus. You know, to make one group feel unsafe is, is not right. Two swastikas drawn at a dorm at Millersville University. The president of Ville Hillel, an on-campus Jewish community who asked not to be named, says the symbol is offensive no matter the intention. It's uncomfortable to, you know, to walk into your building that you live in and see some sort of symbol that, you know, people can take as very hateful. I mean, it is hateful. She says she hopes the incident was an immature mistake and not a reaction to the conflict in Israel. I'm assuming that whoever, you know, put this symbol up wasn't doing it out of spite or hate. I think it was honestly just ignorance. Those symbols written in marker were found inside an elevator at the East Village Suites, as well as out here on the sidewalk. Today, police charged 20-year-old Ethan Rosencrantz with one felony count of institutional vandalism after police say he admitted to the act. In the criminal complaint, police say Rosencrantz claimed his actions weren't meant to, quote, target the Jewish community, and he stated he was, quote, sorry. University officials releasing a statement, we condemn and do not allow any actions of hate, bigotry, and discrimination in our community. Such behaviors do not align with or reflect our values. A community that includes junior Lee Berman, who says anti-Semitism nationwide elevates concerns. It does spark fears within the community of more violent events happening. He emphasizes the importance of dialogue and discussion. I think just trying to find out more about another group that you don't know much about or have different viewpoints to is always going to be important to kind of loosening the tension in the world. Other MU students called the actions inappropriate and inexcusable. People are 18, 19, 20, these people are like 25 going here and, and these childish, not even childish, unacceptable things are happening. People are talking about how, how that shouldn't be happening here. It's embarrassing. Vil Hillel's president hopes this matter can serve as a teaching moment. You know, people do things without thinking, and this is a learning opportunity. Logan Perone, Fox 43 News. And Rosencrans could face up to seven years in prison and up to $15,000 in fines. It's unclear whether the other two suspects involved will face any charges.